I forgot it already. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I knew part half of it. So you heard a word today, is what you I said. heard a word. <laughs> okay. Words are tricky things. What was it in English? Thank you. Oh, okay. But what That's was a famous one, though. I think yeah, if, no. you, if, you, if you think about it, you'll get it. <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> 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 no, I do know it. I know the first part. Then it gets complicated. <laughs> What's the first part? I've forgotten it. <laughs> it's got complicated. <laughs> it's, so you tell me and then I'll know. The first part is arigato. Yes, arigato. Famously. Arigato. Gozaimasu. Yeah. There you go, and let's hear it back. I've been saying hello, thank you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. In <laughs> English, <laughs> just hello. <laughs> In, hello. No, I've been taking my stuff and going, Konnichiwa. Ah, okay, right. Uh, with quite a smug look on my face. <laughs> okay. Just as long as you don't say thank you as hello, then maybe yeah. that's even better. Yeah. But, um, okay, so, Lou Sanders. <laughs> Lily. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Uh, <laughs> welcome. Thank you for joining us for on me. our show. It's called Tokyo Brunch. I don't know if we've actually told you that. Mm. Uh, there is no food coming. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, but a lovely ru- you've put a lovely runner, which with <laughs> three guys are running it. You know, you don't expect the little touches. You don't. I'm being sexist, but you don't expect the front of the table runner. <laughs> it's only because you're here we make, we make a special effort. Uh, I'm Man in Disease Bora. Also here with BJ Fox. BJ, hi. And this. <laughs> hi. <laughs> big hello from. Yeah. Me. Big big arigato gozaimasu from Ben there. Arigato. Uh, <laughs> I thought you'd not get that joke because the first part was cut. Uh, but uh, we're here in Gamiso. Uh, we actually have we actually do a show here on uh, the um, stage behind did, you. Did a show here on Friday night. Mm. Yeah, how did that go, Ben? It's still got the vibe. It went really yeah, well, actually. The dartboard's up. Ben's doing uh, particularly badly. A uh, little target for them. Uh, how was it, Ben? It was great. Yeah. Yeah, it was a really good show. Want to elaborate a little bit and more? And that's on that? straight from the fox's mouth. <laughs> Uh, it was just good, just good. I was trying to practice for opening up for you tomorrow. Yeah, well, big deal. Yeah, <laughs> big <laughs> time. <Now. laughs> Don't want to mess that up, thank you. <laughs> well, now I, I pretended to be interested in his show. Mm. Well, that's the reason <laughs> you're in Tokyo. The yeah, <laughs> that's the reason you're in Tokyo. You're well. Is it the reason you're in Tokyo? Yeah, to, to have fun and to do a show. Yeah. Well, it's um, on the way. That sounds rude. I'm on the way somewhere out. No, but no. Hang on. So what it was was I'm doing New Zealand Comedy Festival, and my friend said you can stop over in Japan on the way. I thought yes, please. I'd like to see a bit of Japan. I wish I was staying longer now. Yeah. It's, lov- it's a lovely old place. Congratulations. Like what you've done with the place. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from the runner, I've done very little towards uh, the general aesthetic of mm. Japan as a country. But uh, you've been here only a couple of days. Are you enjoying it already? Oh, yeah. So hot springs we went today. Mm-hmm. Very, very Japanese. Very much putting the hot in the springs. It was in the nudi. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe my eyes. <laughs> I need to grow up a bit, but I w- oh, couldn't uh, believe did, it. Did, did we not warn you about that? Well, on the way there, uh, I was warned and... Uh, it's not mixed. It's not mixed, so, so it's only ladies. There are mixed ones. Yeah. Um, I think the mixed ones, though, you are you have to wear something, I think. No, Some no, you don't. No. Oh, you don't? Some no. of them you don't. Where you are those? You missed ones? a trick there. <laughs> but it's interesting, and it's and it, it's that thing about in being feeling very uh, self-conscious for about five minutes, and then you're just like, I'm naked yeah. as day I was born, there's nothing wrong with this. Yeah, no, you definitely, there is that five-minute buffer before yeah. you start kind of like strutting a little bit. Yeah. I, know, yeah. I, I have that. <laughs> But you do check out uh, all the other bods just to... Do you? Just to you when do you get to have a peek of all these... You don't usually get to have a little peeky, do you, of all these... No. It's interesting. What's in fashion? <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah, I've never thought about... I've never thought about that as like an aspect of like, you know... Yeah. See what's, what's in Different hairstyles. Vogue. Different generations. Yeah. Have a look around. See what's going on. It's yeah. interesting. It's, uh, I was so naive then because I was going to say, but you don't need to be in an onsen to see people's hairstyles. Then I realised actually what you were talking about. We don't really style though, so it's probably fine, isn't it? I think as a oh, you, 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 you tend no, you tend to like not look at anything, don't you, when you go to an onsen? Yeah, kind of just stare into, into the middle distance. Mm. Well, I actually wear glasses usually, so contact lenses come out, and you, I think you're you're fine. You yeah. can do whatever you want. No. Yeah, but Hilarious. it's lovely on the old skin, and then it's get, it, getting around Japan is hard when you have done Enjoy nothing to learn the language. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very much, yeah, very arrogant, really. Very arrogant, me. Uh, not <laughs> the only for a few days, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Well, less than 24 hours, really. Can issue you are. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You know what I mean? And I mean, no, hello. I was say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so you get it, nice one, cool. Um, so your show is tomorrow, are you looking forward to it? Mm, yeah, 
I mean, I'm, wor- I'm, uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. very sincere. Nice, thanks. <laughs> no, I, no, I am looking forward to it. I'm worried about um, how it will go over because I've never gigged in Japan before. Mm. What are you worried about? What specifically? Uh, the subtleties of comedy and fashions in comedy mm-hmm. and not fashions exactly. That sounds really up my own arsehole. But the the subtleties and in language mm. and comedy itself. Yeah, I, no, I'm, I'm worried something. because. Uh, oh, and the inherent racism of my sex. <laughs> 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 we, took, we took a walk yesterday briefly yeah. and we discussed it. I feel like I made you more worried than you need to be. Yes, <laughs> I wasn't worried. I wasn't worried before chat yeah. with him. Well, so. what, you, well, what specifically did you uh, mention? We, 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 he said, oh, no, I'll tell you. He said, uh, do 10 minutes at the top of stuff about Japan. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> I'm trying to have a day off here. Um, then he said, also, these people have died because uh, they came across. No, no, and then he said, um, <laughs> oh, I was say, and I don't, don't, have, don't have any local references or anything like this, which is fair enough, actually. And then, um, and local ref- then oh, I went through like my set like and I was like, oh, will they get this, this and this? And he was like, no, yeah. no, 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 no. So I've got to write alternatives. I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to have a holiday. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> don't listen to him. <laughs> That's what I'd say. That, I mean, like, I've been listening for a while and I've just been whew, going. Yeah. Uh, all right, before we get too much into this, uh, <laughs> we'll start out <laughs> with... Uh, uh, I was trying to be helpful, to be honest. No, you yeah. were, and actually it was helpful. Yes. And as a result, I'm doing my set in <laughs> Japanese now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Start off with konnichiwa, <laughs> that's enough. Um, uh, so we start off with uh, a segment on here we like to call Omiyage Corner. Mm. Uh, and it's you've origami. Got konichi- no. <laughs> uh, well, you've got konnichiwa down, you've got arigato gozaimasu down. Yeah. Any guesses on what omiyage could mean? Omiyage. Mr. Karate? No. Uh. It's actually Mr. Judo. Oh, is it? No. Ah, uh, that would be so good. Omiyage means gift. Oh. Or, or like, a, like a souvenir sort of thing. Um, I, should kn- I should know that. So uh, you can give it to us now if you've brought anything for us. If Mm. No, the runner. That, 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 I've got you the right. gift of love. <laughs> well, the <laughs> gift of comedy is what you brought us, but we brought something for you. Oh, great! Is that right? Uh, yes. I I've, uh, usually I usually bring people uh, something I'm interested in, which is uh, movies. I caught no. it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that one. Okay, you can have that one no. first if you want. Uh, what is it? Uh, no, we'll, we'll do that in a sec because I've started talking about this one. Um, I like to bring people Japanese movie posters. Yeah. Uh, well, and that's what you're calling a gift. You, some people really love it, actually. <laughs> I uh, think there must be some cultural confusion. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, let me feel a I like better. jewelry. It's a, it's, a <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a Japanese movie poster of an, of an American movie, though. Okay, that's I'm slightly in. better. I'm interested. Uh, well, I don't know. That, I'm a little bit worried about this because actually we, no, we were talking a bit last night and like we were talking about movies that seemed like wasn't your most favourite thing in the world. Oh, uh, well, I can't remember movies that I've seen and I can't remember if I've yeah, seen movies. Well, and sometimes I can watch a whole movie and then think, oh yeah, I have seen this, but I forgot what happens at the end, so I might as well see it through again. Okay. Well, hopefully this is a movie you've seen. Yeah. Or hopefully it's a movie you remember, movie you remember seeing. Right. Maybe it's a movie you've seen and don't remember seeing. Maybe it's a movie you haven't seen but do remember seeing. That'd be the weirdest <laughs> thing. Yeah. Um, but it's a movie from someone that you, you mentioned this person specifically last night. That's why I decided to pick it out. I'm excited. Any guesses of a person? Uh, uh, Tom Cruise, I mentioned. You did, yeah. All and the big ones. Uh, my favourite, Tom Hanks. Yes, you did. Tom Hanks is my favourite. No. no. Okay, then. This is actually, I might be throwing off the centre a little Tom bit. Tom Hanks' son. <laughs> yes, we did talk we about Tom Hanks' son. Oh, we had such a I great know, Susan conversation Sarandon. last night. Susan Sarandon. No, no, no. no, oh, no. So I do it's her. a little bit tougher because actually oh, this dear. person isn't the one of the movie people we mentioned. is more known for their comedy writing work. I love Tina Fey. You do love Tina Fey. And <laughs> that's that why I brought you the movie poster for a movie that she wrote called Mean Girls. Oh, there yeah. You go. Lovely. Uh, Thank you. In Jap- in Japanese. There you go. In Japanese. Uh, if you're wondering what that reads as, yeah, uh, Ben can you can read it for her. Oh yeah, <coughs> please. He's actually learned the language. Um, <coughs> mean Gaza. Mean Gaza. Yeah. Exactly. Mean Gaza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mean Gaza. Yeah, it's just it literally just the tra- the translated English version. Mean girls. Mean girls. Yeah, exactly. Lovely. Mean Gaza. Yeah. Great. That's lovely. I'm going to put that somewhere. 
<laughs> I'm sure you will. <laughs> Just to save save me. But Don't tell me where. No, uh, in my house. In my house. Yeah. The pin's in the house for a little while, for like yeah. a week before it goes no, out. That's lovely. Thank you very much. That's all right. It's my pleasure. And I pink mean. is my favourite colour. Oh, is it really? Mm. Great. Hopefully it will fit into the decor of your of mm. your place. There you go. Thank you. I'm glad, I'm glad with that reaction. And it's better than the present I bought you, which was... Comedy? No, nothing. Uh, <laughs> comedy? Yeah. Well, I hope, I hope my comedy's better than this. <laughs> 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 I'm, uh, I mean, dear God, please. <laughs> The, you mean the movie Mean Girls or that gift? <laughs> oh, the gift. <laughs> okay. Obviously, Mean Girls is amazing. <laughs> okay. Um, and there you go, Ben. You're up next. <coughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not usually allowed on the show. Right. <laughs> it's a big day for you and a big day for me. <laughs> um, so I've bought you this. Yeah. <laughs> Did you actually go and buy and choose it? Uh, yes. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't actually. Uh, Vinay, one of the other, one of yeah. the regular hosts, did. Yeah. And it is a. Well, I don't. How do you, I can't translate that. I can't see it. Uh, it's, it says. <laughs> nostril, hair, nose. Great. I mean. <laughs> Should I put it on? Put it on, yeah. <laughs> um, mean girls are looking so bad now, is it? <laughs> why isn't Vinay allowed on the show today? It's not he's not allowed on. So we've only got three mics. <laughs> and, he's, and, 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 he's all, and he's all dressed up. <laughs> I mean, he is a, he's just a smart looking guy in general. Uh, okay, so then uh, I guess <laughs> I guess we're set to go. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad present, certainly. I'm already thinking of a little skit I could <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not. <laughs> Maybe this will help you forming your. What was it? You suggested love, love 25 life. minutes of j- Japanese <laughs> material oh, before yeah, the show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Maybe I just come up with this nose and be the wacky one. Yeah. Uh, okay, I wouldn't great. recommend it. Come out. I'm yeah. expecting you to come out on the show tonight. That on your nose, a framed Mean Girls poster on your arm. Yeah. You'd be good to go. It's not tonight. No, no, no. no, no yeah. Phew. <laughs> I was worried then. I was like, I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, just reading more, it's uh, wonderful nostril hair. Wonderful. <laughs> wonderful nostril <laughs> hair uh, that will uh, sway in the wind. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. It does. Absolutely does. That's what the spa was like today. <laughs> 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 grow up. I really need to grow up. Uh, oh, God. Okay. Thank yeah. you for saving this podcast <laughs> uh, with, with your gift of humour. <laughs> Speaking of the spy, well, you got anything else Japanese-y planned before oh, you go? I'm going to go second-hand clothes shopping. Wicked. Cool. Tomorrow and get some uh, kimonos. All so right. I, you nice. won't believe it. I've got zero kimonos. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. You're in the right country. <laughs> <laughs> because we were talking, me and Hang were talking about the ethics of clothing. And she's now doing a thing where she only buys second-hand clothes for a year. Because uh-huh. uh, like, I was wondering. I won't that. mention any. Well, no, hang on. Like, let's call them vintage. <laughs> okay, yeah. Because okay. it feels nice. Yeah, oh, that's way better. Yeah. Yeah, and I think I might do the same thing, or yeah. I just get all her clothes. So she gets second hand clothes, then I get all her. So you're on the third hand. Yeah, I'm on the third yeah. hand. Plus you're at the onsen today, so you're like, yeah, I think we're about the same size. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> She's got better knockers, but never mind. <laughs> But <laughs> not everything. <laughs> Shouldn't really say that, should you? Uh, for the record, uh, Hager said she's got a better bum. Who's got Hager's a better bum? Hager said oh. that. Who has a better bum? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's from that's from the, the I have his mouth. To be what? honest, I've got a great ass. <laughs> Let's not objectify women in comedy, please. Uh, if you I think if you're doing it to yourself, it's yeah. fine. Yeah. Is it? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. This. Uh, guy was really misogynistic once we were doing a gig together it wasn't his fault he's just from a different generation and say his name or bleep it out <laughs> no <laughs> way <laughs> and he, he hasn't got the memo i think some people just haven't got the memo do you know what i mean like there's a lot of awareness now about sexism and and um, it doesn't like i'm not saying it's solved what's his problem Rolling Shut his eyes. Fuck up, Ben. For fuck's sake. What's he doing? <laughs> I've got no idea. No. He, can't, he can't even bear to hear about it. <laughs> you don't like feminism? Uh, no, I do. No, I, I, I do. It's just I equality. <laughs> What's his problem? I've got no I've idea. Got no problem. Continue, I've got no problem. Continue, continue no, no, your story. No, no. Continue your story. Oh, I feel like I've upset him now. He's a very easy man to upset. No, though, it's right? because I run the comedy shows here. And yeah. it's an it's a issue we face in that it's very, like, oh, it's very hard to get many women to do comedy here 
And right. we're currently working on a good plan to do it. So anyway. he's on the good side. Yeah, he's definitely on the good side, yeah. Oh, I thought he was like, oh, feminism, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why I was like, oh. <laughs> oh God, okay, no. great, 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 great. Yeah. Okay, right. so this guy, oh, go, go, go on, go on, say, say, say. I was going to say, so tell me about that guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 but he said so he said he just made a he made a comment and this is in london you can t- do it in somewhere like out, but london's very progressive like like tokyo would be more progressive than somewhere you know even that is dangerous to say but i think things filter down don't they from the yeah, certainly more than other places in japan yeah 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 so he said something like oh get me a drink sweetie like I was sat on the bar and I was and the bar owner was there so I was like why don't you cut out the middleman and just ask him <laughs> yeah. and then he said I forgot your name you know the girl with the ass but the way that he said it is is kind of and I was emceeing and it's oh kind of co- yeah <laughs> I was saying, we were on the show together oh yeah my and I God. was emceeing and he's like the MC, you know the girl with it and and you can I think you can joke about anything mm. But it's the way that it's done and the power you've got. And yeah. The, you know, and he just slightly missed it. And I didn't mind, I thought, because I've done some terrible things on stage and you just make a decision in the moment. Yeah. And sometimes you say the wrong thing. So I was kind of laughing, but I was also saying, you know, and then I said, oh, they say that, you know, there's no misogyny and sex, uh, there's no sexism in comedy anymore. Because the whole audience were like, mate, you've, t- he, you've haven't got the memo. Mm. And then he got angry and then he was like, well, if you think da 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 and I was like, mm. anyway, it was interesting. He's just a generation above and he just... He yeah. said that on stage? He said it all on stage. Oh, my God. And then, but then I made a joke of it and then I I did carry his drink over, but like really wiggled my ass when I was walking <laughs> to kind of... Because I don't know, I don't know, like you can't fight it with anger. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you've got totally. to say, you've got to point it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, there's ways yeah. of doing it, I guess. It's all in context, isn't it? Like I yeah. say hideous things sometimes and then I think, oh, no, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. But you make a decision in the moment. Yeah. yeah. And then you read a blog and you think, yeah, no, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you think, oh, no, yeah, that person, I am a horrible person. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, the question I was going to ask was, you performed in loads of different countries, right? So you performed in, I guess, the... All of them. <laughs> all of them? <laughs> Qatar? No, like, for example, somewhere even like the, the US you performed in yeah. quite a lot. I like uh, the US. Yeah. Yeah. Do you find somewhere like that even you've got to worry about references and stuff mm, like that? I don't think the first time they couldn't understand me because I speak yeah. quite fast. Yeah. And, and so they were all leaning forward like this and I was like, you can't understand me, can you? Yeah. And they were like, mm, sometimes. You know, yeah. In LA that was and they were yeah. all like, mm. but uh-huh. um, that's what I told myself when they were, no. It was yeah. good but they were, all, they were a bit sort of confused and then uh-huh. I addressed it and then it was fine. Right, okay. But I do think there's differences where you gig, like New York is harder to gig than LA. Everyone's happy in LA because it's sunshine. Okay. So, like, you think that's the only reason? <laughs> well, yeah. And I don't know. I feel like New York's quite a hard city. Yeah. It's like London. It's right. Yeah. A lot yeah. of people's quite angry. Uh-huh. Is there a compare? Is there somewhere to compare LA to in the UK or that doesn't exist? Maybe. Cornwall? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I meant comedy wise, not oh. like the uh, I mean, everyone knows everyone knows that they uh, <laughs> the tagline of Cornwall is the LA of England, I think. Yeah. Everyone yeah. Knows. <laughs> no, comedy wise, I guess London. I, although, compare, okay, but, but, but I mean like you compared New York to London. Uh, no, 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 in, fe- like, in, like, in terms of oh sorry, progressive. It's quite progressive. Yeah. Okay, right, there, I see there's mean, a yeah. lot of good comedians there. Okay, right. But they have got their own style which is different to London. It's more laid back and it's less yeah. like gaggy i would say right yeah okay cool um because i think you'll he find knows t- he, he's nodding yeah oh be nice yeah he's yeah he's from LA. actually yeah. american i know so i think he'd know bona fide american <laughs> sitting right there not funny enough to actually make it in front of the camera but <laughs> <laughs> hey for <laughs> nice maybe next week <laughs> 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 let's talk about let's talk about how it's like how it's like with uh staying at ben's house I'm staying at Ben's house. <laughs> we'll cut this out. Don't I'm worry staying about at Ben's it. house. No, I like it. Ben's it's very as awkward as it, this oh, is. I tell you, I t- don't say that. It's not awkward at all. We're no, having a lovely like time. Though. Listen, when I got to Ben's house, I the toy. I know everyone comes to Japan and talks about the toilets, but he doesn't. Also, part of my briefing. Don't talk, <laughs> don't talk about the toilets. It was actually. It was. It was I I know, I'd love <laughs> to have been there for your orientation. But he's done me a favour because I don't want to. B- but I'm still talking about the toilets. You can't silence <laughs> me on the toilets. No, but what he doesn't know is 
So it's a very confusing system, the toilet. And I don't roll your eyes. No, no, I've got I've got a funny follow up anecdote now. Because this. I pressed the help button, which I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I sent a notification to his phone. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, duty <laughs> call. I was like, has he got mobility issues? Is he 85? Why has he got a help button in the toilet? Like, yeah. no, hardly anyone dies on the toilet. I know Elvis did, but no one else <laughs> yeah. dies on the toilet. It's, no, it's because I live in a, uh, a special block of flats pro- provided by the government for minorities that include oh. um, disabled people, low income families, and foreigners. foreigners. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. But anyway, so, so the alarm <laughs> went and I panicked and I thought, oh, this is going to be awkward. So, But then I found the off button and then the he text saying, just don't press that button. And I thought, it's too late. <laughs> it's already too late. <laughs> I didn't tell you that. Um, but you also, because I, I, I used the toilet earlier today. Yeah. And you... you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking dynamite. Oh my God. You turn the... Um, you oh turn God. the B-Day uh, <laughs> temperature right down. <laughs> Which was a bit of a shock. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Who's having a Wait a second. What, what, I, what I hear what from that is what I, what I hear from that is is that you you had it right up. <laughs> That's what all I hear. It's got to be. Oh I have not had one B day since I've been here. Judge me if you like, but why is everyone having B day? If you are you've been here for a while, then you, you have, have a little B day. Yeah, it's, you start off like you know, start off on yeah. the lowest level, yeah. like lowest temperature, yeah. lowest pressure, yeah, and then. Then after that, you kind of get used to it. Your tolerance builds up, and then it's you start bumping it up a little bit more. It's just a bath for your bottom, isn't yeah. it? It's well, just mine's a like a pressure washer for the bottom now. <laughs> My, mine's like up to ninety degrees, full power. <laughs> Can you give yourself a colonic then in the? I guess I, you have to add coffee to it, but yeah, I think no, oh, colonics are coffee based. <laughs> I've got no idea what uh, I'm going to say. You get some great offers on Group I'm thinking, I'm thinking I, of Enema. I Sorry. took all the, I was pressing all the buttons forever. And then because the tap doesn't turn off. What a waste of water. It's running for four minutes. It's not mm. acceptable, Japan. No, the tap, that's actually a very clever use of water. Because that water is no, the water that would go through, that would refill the tank anyway. Right. It's getting rooted through their fur. Well, I take it all back and congratulations yeah. on your water system. Very <laughs> yeah. But um, and I couldn't work the shower this morning. I had a cold shower. And oh, you've got to press that other shower. You're asked before you got to press the heat wall button on. Did I not? I, I took a photo of that. Did I not? Yeah. Took a photo. I, of what? So I, I could not meet uh, Lou Sanders <laughs> off the <laughs> off the plane. So I'm I going to give you a final edit on this, by the way, in case you. <laughs> <laughs> I could not idea uh, how's going out on the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I could I could meet Lou Sanders. Well, Lou, that's off the, quite off right. The plane. I wouldn't expect you to meet me from the airport. It's ages away. Um, and I had, oh, even at the station. So I sent a fairly detailed. So briefing good, so good. He's been photos. he's been so good to me. And all I did was buy some hobnobs. <laughs> but I'm gonna re- I'm gonna rebalance the thing. All I, I, all I need. Did you did you ask for the hobnobs? Um, Lou was. So like, what can I bring over? Yeah, I but I mean, oh, he's okay, putting okay, me okay. up. Like the whole okay. is neither here nor there, really. No, but I was just saying, if you didn't specifically ask for it, then you would have hit the nail on the head because yeah. he's a very oh, big I wish Hobnob I could fan. be psychic about it. Yeah. I wish I'd psychically known. <laughs> what connection that would be. <coughs> it's hard to tell whether Ben likes you, so it's kind of <laughs> scary. <laughs> it's, I mean, I thought I was well, easy to get along with. But I mean, he said it's been awkward. I thought we've had a nice <laughs> time. We have had a nice Sometimes time. Sometimes I misread... Guys, yeah. uh, oh, this is going well. Oh no! Oh god, no! It's it's he's fine. It's I think as it's we him. found out earlier, he's yeah. just a huge sexist. That's the right. <laughs> sexist. With with things we know about Ben, he's sexist. He doesn't want me in his house, <laughs> <laughs> and he likes a warm bee day. <laughs> We're finding out so much. Just imagine Ben just angrily on his bee day eating hobnobs, thinking, <laughs> "I wish you'd leave." <laughs> Leave my temperature alone. <laughs> and the flat. But we're having a lovely time. Having a nice time, yeah. yeah that, I'm, I'm very glad um, to hear. I'm very glad to I'm hear. I'm getting him used to having women in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting him used to sharing his, uh, you know, space. Yeah, Otherwise, good. you're going to die alone, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's good. I was going to say that. I mean, it's good that for him to get that knowledge, but I can't really see we're ever going to use it, really. Like, can you imagine? Do you think you're going to die alone? Let's get into this. Um... I don't know, I'm 35 and <laughs> single for a long time. 
Oh man, I mean, I know. I, 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 <laughs> Let's turn it into a bit of a plea. Let's get something out of this for him. Okay, uh, now what's okay, your so time? So we've got his email address running at the bottom <laughs> of the screen now. Uh, what's you're your time? on Tinder, right? I'm not on Tinder, no. Okay, well, let's get him on Tinder. Actually, just fucking get it, get your phone. Get out. No, I'm joking. Yeah. What? Uh, what? What's your type? What are you into? Um, oh. One that does not speak. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, we talk about this a lot. Do we? <laughs> Do we? We do, uh, I feel we do. After like the fourth cup of tea, I always bring up my... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, okay, yeah. So I'm, like, I'm drinking it to forget, I think. Are yeah. you not yeah. drinking tonight? Uh, I'm drinking the, the zeros. Oh, good. He good. drinks the good tea bad. to forget. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm good, thank you. Yeah. But what... Uh, no, no, let's go into this. What's your type? What's okay, your... I this could work for you. you could, I mean, how many people are watching this? Uh, 200? 69. 69. People. What was was that supposed number? to be a joke? No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was <a> joke. <laughs> 70 people. Let's let's say round it up. Let's say one hundred people are watching this right, right. now. Right, fifty percent might be girls. That's fifty women. Mm-hmm. Of that, according to our YouTube demographics, that's not the case. But we'll okay, ten percent <laughs> might be women. Eight <laughs> percent might be in your age bracket. <laughs> um, so yeah. Okay. So look at the camera. Look at camera b- A. I talk about this on stage quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think my problem, Lou, mm. is. <laughs> that whenever a girl likes me mm. I typically don't wait what is it no I this is self-sabotage See self-sabotage, self-sabotage. Yeah. yeah and so I always I, I think I like kind of I'm attracted to loud dynamic mm. girls why are you Uh-oh. Kind of <laughs> I'm so glad you were like I'm attracted I'm to loud <laughs> dynamic I was like yeah. okay uh, and yet the ones I the, the ladies I end up going for are typically very quiet and then mm. I convince myself self that I'll, I want someone a bit more outgoing because I'm not mm. very outgoing myself, so I'm trying to look for someone to. Oh, have you done call. the Myers Briggs personality test? Yeah, I've done that. What are you? I can't remember. I can look it up. <laughs> <laughs> I am the one, the I'm the socially awkward one. Oh, that's so such kind a of shame. Lead. Would you have guessed that? So you, you came to uh, the show last night, right? I don't think, I think you're confident and everything. I think it's hard to tell if you hate me or... <laughs> or <laughs> I think it's hard to tell if you hate someone or not. That's a problem. I will say that's not just you. Don't worry right, about okay. it. Right, yeah. <laughs> okay. So that could be a problem. <laughs> yeah. Unless... Well, I'm surprised you're attracting any guy. <laughs> no, because the quiet ones would be scared of you. You know? Like, they'd be scared that you don't... That you, <laughs> hang on, hang on. I think you're a catch. I just mean I'm surprised the quiet ones aren't put off by you because they're scared you'd hate them or something. Well, we can fix this. He's a good-looking guy. He's got he's a lot a going on. He's a good-looking guy. Yeah. He's a clever guy. Yeah. He's, he's got assisted funny. assisted helper. Is uh. He's got. <laughs> you know, if you've where got. He lives. If you've got bowel problems, <laughs> someone <laughs> will come running. Exactly. Um, what more can you want? He's got a B day. I know. BJ's got yeah. a B day. It's great. He's got a cold shower <laughs> for when you get too steamy. <laughs> <laughs> cool yourself off. Um, so it's kind of got. It's, I yeah. don't know, it hasn't so gone the right route, route we wanted it to, but I think it's working out quite well for you, mate. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it? yeah. Because yeah. this is now. Is this is now like yeah, one of those like adverts for charity. You know where they run. <laughs> they're yeah. Like if you can give twenty p. <laughs> if you <laughs> if you can give. A compliment to BJ or something. If you can give one night of your life to BJ, <laughs> save away save the loneliness. Save we can get Tinder Prime or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> no, look, he's a catch. Okay, if you're a gregarious woman who maybe had uh, issues with your stepdad and weren't sure that he liked you <laughs> and you want to follow that path. <laughs> I'm out of my depth. And, and, you're, and you, you live in the greater Tokyo area. Yeah. I, I would uh, also, I've only been, well, I wasn't socially awkward yesterday. Surely? No. no. You, he's not socially awkward. I did no. ask, in that awkward moment of silence, I did ask you what football team you liked. <laughs> that was so funny. That was the funniest thing ever. I think that was so funny. Also, I'm comfortable in silences. I didn't think that was awkward okay. at all. I, I, I didn't feel awkward for one second, but that was the funniest thing. I was getting ready for bed and I was washing my face and everything. Then I came back and he went, so... <laughs> It's really funny, I think. The assumption that you like a football team yeah, is so I funny. Know, yeah, so yeah, he was like, funny, so... Yeah. Uh, what football team do you like? I laughed about five minutes. <laughs> the timing, it was just, it was 
brilliant, actually. You can't afford this man's comic timing. I will no. say that about him. Yeah, he's definitely got that. I, it, I yeah. haven't felt awkward at all. No, we've had a nice time. Mm, we've had a nice time. That's good. <laughs> That's exactly what people who had a nice time usually say. We've, def- we've definitely we've had a nice time. We've had a nice time. <laughs> 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 well, I've had a nice time. We've had a nice time. We've had a nice time. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't hang out today. Um, no, that's all right. Yeah. I mean, we don't have too much of a nice time. <laughs> I got the sense. I you got that much of a nice okay. time. No, <laughs> I got the sense if I could leave for the whole day, that would be nice to be doing. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah, and you it, have and a little it, bit of time apart. If yeah, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's make, a, make us fonder about each other. And look, the proof's in the pudding. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> he looks so comfortable now. <laughs> <laughs> this has turned into an episode to try and make BJ feel uncomfortable. Would you MC Lou on tomorrow? You've got introduced as your bestest friend right. in the whole entire world. People do that in comedy. No, and they, they um, people do that. And they <laughs> <laughs> like, not five minutes ago, you were a drink. It's like, nah, now it's like, fucking, I don't care. Non alcoholic, get rid of it. Yeah, again. 0%. I love exactly. it. Exactly. But that's the thing. That's what makes it even funnier because, like, that's something that even Ben yeah, does. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. seen him go, I need a fucking drink. Zero yeah. percent alcohol. He's like, oh. <laughs> Association is a powerful thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, apparently yeah. so. I've heard. Yeah. I never drink al- non-alcoholic beer, but he's sort of, uh, quite. I'm quite into the idea of it now. But he's um, the king of non-alcoholic beer. That guy. He's got craft non-alcoholic. He's given himself gout with fridge. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> let's not bring that up. Non- anyone? That's not a sexually transmitted disease. It's fine. Still get in touch if you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Yeah. It's mild gout. Yeah, mild yeah. gout. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. You know, it, it's. Transmutable with the love of a good woman. Yeah. <laughs> you only catch it if you drink too much of the beers in his yeah. fridge. That's yeah. the problem, yeah. Oh, yeah. and he has got STDs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, would you like to say a word or two about, <laughs> about that? It's, a, <laughs> it's like an irony about a guy getting gout from not drinking non-alcoholic beer and getting an STD while never talking to a woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. No. Write that down. There's a sitcom. <laughs> there's a sitcom in there. Get in touch if you're either a woman or a sitcom maker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A sitcom maker is that? I think that's what they call the producers. Yeah. A sitcom maker. Producers. Oh. Um, you can tell you're in so the biz. <laughs> <Yeah>. So, <coughs> are you looking forward to Auckland? Mm. <laughs> Yeah, I am actually. Yes, although I don't, I'm not in a rush to leave Japan. But um, uh, to be honest, when I heard for the short amount of time you were yeah. here, I felt well sorry for all of us, but also sorry for you because like yeah, it's yeah, a, there's so I, much to see a, and do. Yeah, so much to see and do. Yeah, it'd be mm. cool if you could say like like a week is a really good time. Right? Yeah. And also, I've missed the snowboarding. I'm a Mr. Blossom, so maybe yeah. I'll come back with my new show next year. Don't worry, I'll get some other accommodation. Um, <laughs> <laughs> come back with my new show. <laughs> and see the blossom and the snowboarding. That would see be great. The, yeah. Just sightseeing the snowboarding. Yeah. <laughs> I'll join in. Because I feel like Japan is one of those places that, like, everyone kind of has in their back of their mind would be. God, sorry. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I couldn't get through the. Freeze. <laughs> because I feel like Japan is one of those places <laughs> nice. that. Uh, nice yeah. I'm editing this, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, we haven't even talked about brunch yet. Yeah, no, I, so the general concept of the Tokyo Brunch name was like having a boozy brunch kind of thing. Oh. Um, but the co-host doesn't drink and very often the guest doesn't either. So it's just me smashing back beers usually. Yeah. Uh, and I don't want to break the illusion right here, but it's about 9 p.m. right now. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we're kind of out of the brunt, brunch range, I think. What actually did you do for food? Because you are vegan in yeah. Japan. It's absolute nightmare, mate, because I can't understand the symbols. Yeah, so and there isn't one for... For vegan, vegan, usually, yeah. Uh-huh. So, uh, uh, well, I, well, Hager helped me, and I had Does noodles. Does Hager know the symbols? Well, she's got... She's g- okay, good, good, good. <laughs> Yeah, in the pictures. You can do Google Translate okay. pictures. What a world we're living in. What a time. I know. But I had noodles for breakfast, and I said... I said, hey, go I'm not comfortable with carbs at breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> carbs said, is better early in the day. The earlier the yeah, better, that's right? That's true, that's yeah. true. But I had to get my head around soup for breakfast yeah i mean the japanese breakfast is 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 fish rice and soup yeah mm. i mean lunch sounds great but yeah, uh, yeah. For first breakfast. thing in the morning give me some do they porridge. have cheerios here don't think so the cereal's not a big thing oh right, yeah. right, right so i'm a big porridge man myself <laughs> i love porridge that's my but go-to yeah that's me too as well though love it but yeah that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, 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 I was yeah, saying yeah, Carbs yeah, pretty yeah. big in the morning, like toast, carbs, Yeah, yeah, carbs, croissant, it, yeah. carbs. It wasn't the carbs that was my problem, really. Right. The fact it was noodles, you just mm. kind of hide it behind the carb thing. I like a porridge. I make a mix 
Is this going to be interesting for no one? Maybe you. Oh, no, I'm loving this. Go, go for it. Let's get into it. I make yeah. a porridge in a tup- massive Tupperware and then I put all the different seeds in, goji berries, mm. dried, sultanas, everything goes in. Give it a good old shake up. Absolute stuff of dreams every morning. What do you mean you make it in a Tupperware? Well, so I've got this big Tupperware. I'm not showing off. <laughs> and <laughs> then I put... I keep my oats <laughs> in a big Tupperware as well. I just want to say. Like, yeah. It's not, I yeah. mean, so much in common. Maybe I should be saying at your house. <laughs> 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 then I put like different seeds in hemp seeds all different yeah. things at different oh, times wow. and I just keep topping it up and yeah. it's an absolute festival of dreams I, I just ba- wish that someone else could experience this and already I feel are. bad with my banana and honey now I'm pretty oh, straight down oh, the that's line that's, oh, no, that's but what my point was going to be that like, mm-hmm. I'm, I like porridge in Japan I've got to literally buy my oats from like a specialist like shop like a like an export shop. you can't just go to the super you can go to the supermarket and get like crappy oats but like I want that you know stone you cut shit of course you do yeah Look yeah. at you. You're not going to... Any man oats, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> do Amazon deliver here? They do, yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, it feels dirty though, doesn't it? You're in a you're in a country of so much rich culture and then you're on Amazon. I mean, I would do it. I uh, drunk bought Maltesers from Amazon once yeah. and I will never divulge how much they cost me because they were fucking expensive. Really? <laughs> yeah. I was just like, right, I need to fucking more do right now but I, I was weird because at that time I really wanted them yeah, they but uh, them. they don't come like a week later Your so that is, was a bad we idea. always think we all, the grass is always greener and you get those Maltesers and it's like no the emptiness wasn't about Maltesers <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if anything the fragility of life they're, they're too light to fill up any big hole anyway <laughs> my friend got engaged to engaged to proposed to in the glowworm cave in Australia mm-hmm. and she so she was um in the cave and he was saying, you know, you're my best friend, giving all the speech, but she couldn't see the ring. And then he, so he's like pitch back dark and she was like, and then he's like, well, what are you saying? So he was worried, like, what are you saying? Are you saying yes? And she's like, well, you haven't asked me anything yet. And he's like, oh, sorry, will you marry me? And she's like, yes. And then he, I can't yes. see the ring. And then they got outside and he thought, oh, I'll do it properly and get down on one knee. But she's, she's so nice, but she's also like quite eccentric. She didn't want everyone watching he got down on one knee so she thought oh he's making a scene so she got down on one knee as well to <laughs> distract from any attention <laughs> they started doing each other's shoelaces up yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they're perfect for each other so and it's you're nice. uh, planning on doing something similar in the I'm planning days. on yeah. getting married to him <laughs> as well <laughs> right, yeah. and you're doing a gig as well in Auckland as well cool yeah okay. yeah yeah yeah. you're mainly the glow ones yeah no I'll be doing a lot of gigs actually I think so you're doing like a run of your so you've got like a show you did in Edinburgh or something last year yeah so I did last year's show called What's That lady doing and then <laughs> so I do it here <laughs> then I do it in Auckland a few times cool. like I think twice in Auckland twice in Wellington great and then apart from that I'm doing a package show with some other oh okay movies. cool yeah and you do a gala and I'm doing a, like a topical panel show as well uh, and then you're going back after that to the UK yes. and doing stuff I I think you mentioned last night you're taking a break from Edinburgh next year is that right mm, I'm still doing a new show Okay. About shame. I'm doing a show about shame. Oh, man. Shame. Good topic for Japan. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's what I thought. A lot yeah. of shame here. So much shame. Yeah. But we're all entrenched in it everywhere. Like, yeah. We, like English are Irish. Yeah. Are. What's your shame? My shame. <laughs> this show at the moment, I think. Yeah. Fine, I made it. But what, what, that's a good topic, actually. Shame. I'm really interested in it. Let's all discuss our worst shame. Yeah. Oh, God. Hmm. BJ, you've probably got loads, haven't you? Got loads, yeah. Man, I don't know if I do. Maybe I do. Let's start with disease. Yeah. Something, my worst shame, like something yeah. I'm ashamed of. Yeah, like this thing you that sometimes keeps you up at night, like, oh, I wish I hadn't done that. Oh or maybe God, you've buried I've it so deep. Hundreds d- yeah. of those. Maybe you've buried it so deep as well. Some of them you bury so deep. Mine are all drinking, not all drinking related, but a lot of them are. Uh, when I, I, I don't think I've ever told this story, but I might as well bring it out now. Yes. Um, I don't know how old I was. I guess I was maybe let's say let's say twelve. Yeah. Uh, I I just I just figured out how to record on a tape recorder. Like, yeah. You know you can record tape you record off of the radio. I just I realised that there was a mic on the stereo as well. I could record a thing, and I press record and I sang like a song. Aww. Like I don't know. I think it was. I know exactly what it was, but I won't say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and they say. <laughs> can I guess? No, but you I, were only actually, 12. I genuinely don't know. I don't know you what it was. You were a kid. Well, the thing is, I'm, I think I might be lying about the 12 thing. So if I say, right, it might right, date right. it if I say the actual right, song. Right. I can't actually remember what song it was. I'm not sure. I've got an idea. He knows it probably what wasn't song true. It. He totally knows. But yeah, come on. Uh, was yeah. it a boy band? 
I, I genuinely don't know what okay. it was. Anyway, um, Billy Jean is that my? That would have been quite cool. Yeah. I think it was like a lame song. <laughs> anyway, did it, uh, and then like a week later or something, uh, I heard my sister and one of her friends that were over like listening to the tape, oh. and I think I think about that like I. Th- say on average about three times a month that kind of yeah. I wait like I think about, and that's an exaggeration but I definitely yeah. I mean today I still think about <coughs> yeah, it yeah 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 like and it's kind of lame and it doesn't bother me at all but it definitely that it just hits you right in the chest because yeah, I remember, yeah, I remember yeah. kind of like at the time I nearly passed out like <laughs> how oh. embarrassing it was do you know what I mean it was very uh God, I feel like oh, Ben now. This is like so a fucking, cute, <laughs> fucking therapy. I'm so so glad to get that out after all these years. Oh Jesus but Christ! But doesn't that like the the so Brené Brown talks a lot about shame and vulnerability. Mm. When people are being vulnerable, you just like it's quite endearing. So then I think if you hear that story, and you're just like, oh, you're just protective towards that little kid, you know? Like it's yeah. really sweet, and actually we've all done it, and actually it's not shameful yeah. at all. It shouldn't be. But when you f- you can still f- f- get into that feeling that you had. At the yeah, time. like I said, it doesn't like I, I'm not like oh I shouldn't have done that, but like yeah, I, I can't help that physical reaction. Yeah, you get, yeah, which yeah, is like yeah. That me- weird memory. You just thing, having yeah. a little sing along. Yeah, I know. I was just testing out mm. the, my new tech. Yeah, oh, too much. Yeah. It's so cute, actually. That's so cute. <laughs> everyone's done it. Like everyone's done that thing. <laughs> They're just testing out their little voice. I feel <laughs> sick right now. Just do you? <laughs> yeah. Why? It's an association thing. I swear. Right? Because it's not an it. embarrassing story. Yeah. Like if I told you some of my shame stories, flip it out. That would be. That's not. That's not even. All right. Come on then. Well, I saw I was going like that in the background. <laughs> no, just like, just absolute disgrace. Well, I don't drink now because, like, I've been fine drinking, like, fine, uh-huh. bit of a legend for about six months, and then I do something <laughs> terrible. But I don't think I can say any of them. But just like, just the worst. Like, yeah. just, yeah, because I'm quite exuberant anyway, and I get so excited. Yeah. And then when I drink, sometimes I'm just like, ah, and then I just, I don't know, like, the worst. Right. But singing into a tape recorder is kind of cute. Mm. Ben, why don't you tell some stories about why you don't drink anymore? They're fun. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, but I'm, just, I'm the same, maybe. Mm. I drink too much. Yeah. Had too to much. <laughs> what the fuck? Can I just say one thing? We're all gonna, we said we were going to all go round. And I just told this like heartfelt story I've never told before. And then you're both like, yeah, just don't drink anymore. <laughs> fuck it now. Okay, I'm just trying to think. Uh, I'm just trying to think of ones that are like. Oh, what can I I, can't, I? I genuinely can't think of any now. I mean, I used to wet myself. Right, if that's any of in the interest. Oh, I did that as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 What, I, what? What? Like? Oh, I just can't think. It's so weird. I got uh, when I when I got transferred to Japan. Yeah. Uh, I missed my second day in the office, and my boss just called me and I said, "So I'm too bad to go in." Oh, <laughs> second day. You, s- you said I'm too bad to go in. Apparently. <laughs> 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 What did he say? <laughs> he, he, I, he, I went in maybe at three o'clock and then he said we need a chat. So we went to um, Craft Heads, which is a craft beer place in Shibuya, and had a few drinks. Okay. And he just walked me through about how that's not acceptable behaviour in Japan. I was like, oh, I didn't know it was Japanese culture. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese customs, sorry. Because in Britain, they love it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, God. Uh, wow. I mean, he took you for a few drinks to say. Yeah, it was okay. That's awful. I got sacked once from a bar job, actually, yeah, from like, uh, uh, like I drank on the way to work. And then you're allowed to take... Actually, I got sacked from a couple. Actually, I was doing this radio show back in um, Britain and I saw my old ba- boss of one of the pubs. It sacked me on Holloway Road. And so I was getting ready to do the thing with David Mitchell. Was it called The Unbelievable Truth? We're doing this nice. record. And then um, he comes in with teas and coffees and everything. And he was like, Lou. And I was like... And I didn't recognise him. He recognised me. And he was like, you used to work for me at the Tap It or whatever it's called. And I was like... Oh yeah, I got the sack if I believe if I and he was like, Yeah, of course you got the sack, you're pissed all the time. <laughs> and I was like, Oi oi And I said to him, I don't drink now and he's like, Well I can imagine, of course you don't <laughs> <laughs> You're still alive, so I'm guessing Yeah, like, yeah. What was it so he was working there as what? Well I don't know really. I think he was doing like the catering or something uh, okay. or yeah, and we didn't like he yeah, had to go so we didn't have a big chat or anything, but Right. I was like, he was a bit dismissive actually of me. <laughs> I was like, mm, can, I, on the can I get a cup of tea? <laughs> <laughs> Please. Take it but Irish. <laughs> God, uh, it's all coming back to me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I got done for drink driving. That was a low point. Oh God. But I was only 17. And it's a terrible thing to do. Mm. But they said, they said, um, 
so I was showing, like, basically, I thought I could s throw them off the scent by indicating left and turning right. <laughs> 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 <But> <laughs> what, clever. you were being <laughs> tailed by, like, a car? I was going about five miles an hour, so oh, I was like, yeah. oh, I didn't want them to know. And then, yeah, I indicated <laughs> left, and I was like, watch this. <laughs> Wait, right, they caught me. Then I drank, like, some lemongrass aromatherapy oil that I had in the dashboard to try and disguise the smell. And then the policeman <laughs> oh was such a square. The policeman was, like, on arresting. She consumed half a bottle of lemongrass aromatherapy <laughs> oil. What, you did it in front of him? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, then, and then I was like, yeah, that was an error. It's burning <laughs> my mouth. And then... <laughs> went to the police station and they said, um, and it sounds, I'm not proud of this. I don't think anyone should drink drive. I was just a, a moron. And I'm glad I got, you know, arrested. Yeah. Uh, but at the time, there was like 12 of them gathering around. They had nothing else to do in the uh, police station. So they were all gathering around me going, my daughter could have been on the road. My son. Got, and I was like, yeah, I knew it was bad. But I was like, it doesn't need 12 of you to tell me. Yeah. I'm going to get in trouble with the law. I don't need 12 of you to like yeah. go at this. And I was like, what, do you fancy me or something? <laughs> and then <laughs> and then they were like, you're being... They, and then they said, you want a lawyer? And I said, I want the best in town, baby. <laughs> and they said, you're on benefits. Yeah. <laughs> <I> went, yeah. <laughs> oh, and then, awful. And then they, and I was very cold because I was in a vest and they didn't give me a blanket because I'd been too gobby. And they said, this is all going to get read out in a court. You think you're being funny? And I was like, damn straight, I do. And then they said, this is all going to get read out in a court of law because there's a camera getting you there. And I was like, stick it on the DVD, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought it was being funny. Do you think some comedian or something? Yeah. Light yeah. bulb. Yeah. But then it was a d dumb thing to do, obviously. And then I phoned my mum. So I was in the cell for the night and then they let you out in the morning. And then I phoned my mum and said, I've done it. Uh, I've... Uh, messed up and she was doing a counselling course at the time so instead of going ape on me she said that was a very silly thing you did but I love you very much mm, so I got That's away with really it nice. no. <laughs> <laughs> no I didn't <laughs> no I didn't I <laughs> very much got fine and uh, <laughs> everything else but um, weirdly, the also the lawyer that I got because um, at the time I was <laughs> on benefits and the lawyer I got was um free and he in the meeting no I can't say that it doesn't matter no it actually doesn't matter it doesn't matter let's move on <laughs> anyway can't say it, can we say it? uh well he got a massive boner <laughs> 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 in the meeting and I was like oh is this what a free lawyer looks like <laughs> I need to quit college and get a job <laughs> oh god yeah wow and then before you know it Five years later, never mm. drank again. Great, yeah. Yeah, well, actually, I gave up quite a lot of times before, but this time yeah. I'm really committed to it because I, I read this book called How to Stop Drinking by... by Paul McKenna. Alan Carr. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. So now now I've taken away the... Because I used to think I was missing out, and I went vegan as well at the same time. very hard to do both. And then I was like, I'm missing out, I'm missing out. And I used to get really like, oh, no, like it's too hard because I'm using my willpower. But then I read this book, and everyone's different, and different mm. things work for different people. But I read this book, and... Then I was like, oh, I'm not missing out. Like, they're in a trap. Sorry. And I'm the one that's free. Sorry to dig your... <laughs> no, yeah. But, no. but seriously, different. how do you deal with missing out? Because you are missing out. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> no, it, everyone's different and everyone finds their own different way of works. Um, and who knows? Maybe in a year I'll be a piss at again, but hopefully not. Hopefully not. Some people will, will judge me for that because I sometimes cheat. Fuck yourselves. Go fuck yourselves. Yeah. Some that's people judge me for that. Go for, fuck the, for, the, for the gout. Zeros. zeros. <laughs> yeah. Say go fuck yourself into the camera. It feels very empowering. <laughs> <laughs> we just spent the first half trying to win over the audience for him. He can't tell them to go fuck themselves <laughs> now. <laughs> okay. Well, Lou, mm. it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lovely time. Thank you for having me. No, thank you for coming on the show. Uh, you are performing tomorrow night at Good Heavens Comedy Club. The, will this go out before tomorrow night? Uh, no. no that's it so might. that's irrelevant. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, it's good still point. nice to say. It's good. It's nice We're to say. Yeah, to it. it's uh, you will have. But when people see this, you will have performed the Good Heavens Comedy Club. Yeah, and it would have been. Well, I hope. Great. It's I hope it's good. And tell you what, how about this? I will add text at the bottom of this, telling how the show went. Yes, uh, please. So let's all hope that. Give it a star rating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so much jokes gonna happen. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Um, thank you. Will you're you're hosting the show tonight? You'll be there. Uh, yep, I'll be there. Uh, not performing, unfortunately. Mm. Thanks, Ian, for that. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, not really. Yeah. Uh, and, I'm huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm hosting. It should be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that enthusiasm 
going <laughs> for your next act. <laughs> I feel like if you had seen the show last night, you'd be like super worried about Ben right now. Being like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, are you sure he's hosting the show tomorrow night? But uh, it's really great. great, last night. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Luke. You. And Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was great. Thanks so much for coming. And so I actually, when I moved to LA, I'm like, fuck. I'm, I don't know if I'm allowed to curse, by the way. Or yeah. Like, yeah. I'm sorry. I was like, fine. screw. It's fucking absolutely fine. Okay. Fudge. So please say fudge. I was like, <laughs> fudge comedy. Fudge stand. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I actually didn't do it for a few months. And then I, my friend convinced me to get back into it.